What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another Fallout 76 video and today I'm going to be carrying over the series that we had in Fallout 4 into this game. So what I'm going to be doing is showcasing all of the current working glitches that are in Fallout 76 at the moment. And if you don't know how this works, basically I kind of just go down the list, organize them in the groups such as XP glitches, bottle cap glitches, things like that. And I will show you guys how you can find the glitches and do them yourself. So if you guys do go on to enjoy this video or find it helpful, make sure you like and subscribe and let's get right into it. Alright, so for this first XP glitch, you're going to want to come to the Pleasant Valley Ski Resort now. It is located east of Vault 76. It's kind of in the mountains hiding there. If you haven't been there, you get here pretty early in the campaign, so most of you guys have probably already seen this location. But when you come here, kind of be careful because there's some super mutants, I'm going to say that. But when you get here, you're going to be this little entrance. And if you go straight forward to your right here, there is going to be a flamethrower trap. And when you press this arm, the option does not go away. You can continue to press this an infinite amount of times, and you're going to be getting about 100 XP per second. Second, and on top of that, you're going to be getting some fuel and some raw rubber as well. What separates this glitch from the rest of them is that there are actually five more other flamethrowers literally in this vicinity right here. So you can do this with your teammates, anyone. So if you go straight to your left, there's going to be another flamethrower trap you can disarm and do this glitch with. For me, it went away. If it goes away for you, don't panic. All you have to do is reload your game and then get into a new server and then it'll automatically reset and you'll be able to try the glitch again. This is using a bug, so it's kind of glitchy. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You just got to mess with it yourself. But most times, I say over 80% of the time it's going to work for at least one of these in here. Now, if you go up the stairs to your right here, there is going to be two more flamethrowers that you can use, or your teammates can use, whoever you want. If the other ones doesn't work, you can always try these ones as well. These ones are a little bit tricky to get to, but they're still perfectly working flamethrowers. So, what you're going to do is there's going to be a little lookout tower at the top here. Go ahead and look over the edge, and there is going to be two flamethrowers facing up. These aren't really used for traps, I don't think. They're just used for decorations. But when you get on top of them, you can do the disarm glitch. And directly to your right, again, there is going to be another one that you can go ahead and do the glitch with as well. And finally, at the back of this little outpost place, there are going to be two more flamethrowers that you can go ahead and do this glitch with as well. The last two didn't work for me either. The second one worked a little bit, but then it quit working. So you're just going to have to take my word for it. I swear they work. I have plenty more XP glitches coming up too that you can always try. I just figured that I would show this one first because you can also do this with a team, which is going to give you an XP bonus, which is always great. Now, I don't play with a team. I just play solo, so it doesn't really make a difference for me. But let's get right into the next glitch. For this next XP glitch, you're going to want to come to the Radio Tower LWB122. It's kind of a little outpost for super mutants located east of Vault 76, not too far from that ski resort that I was just showing you. But when you fast travel here, you're going to spawn on this little hill. And when you come up here, you're going to see a like little outpost little thing with the Radio Tower on top of it. Kind of sneak around to the back because you don't really want to alert any super mutants because there is a chance they can actually set off this trap, which you don't want to do. But if you go straight to your left and look up on the wall here, there is going to be a Tesla arc that you can go ahead and disarm, and this is not going to be disarming either. And it's going to be giving you about 100 XP per second, like I was saying, but with this one, you're going to be getting steel, copper, circuits, and fusion cells, which is actually really, really good. Use those for a lot of guns, and not to mention use the circuits and copper for base building, which is always a plus as well. Once you have actually pressed this arm, it'll glitch it out, and you won't be able to set off the trap anymore. Now is when you're probably going to want to go ahead and kill the super mutants, so none of them come after you and actually like try to kill you and mess up the glitch. It just makes your life way easier if you go ahead and just kill them. But that's pretty much for this glitch. Probably one of the best ones when it comes to junk, but let's go ahead and get right into the next one. So a lot of you guys probably already know about this one, but it is a glitch, so I'm going to show it. It is at the Eastern Regional Penitentiary, and there's actually two in this location. The first one I'll be showing you guys is right when you spawn, you're going to want to go to your left and kind of stay near the wall of the like little castle area. It's not a castle, but I call it a castle because it looks like a castle. Um, go through the vents. Sometimes there's super mutants in here, so you kind of want to stealthily take them out so that you don't alert all the other ones, but in my case... Right at this hole here, watch the tin cans, you don't want to alert them. Sneak around, and you're going to see this little garage to your left. Go to your left again, and there is going to be a door here and a super mutant inside. Go ahead and try to take him out stealthily. If he does get alerted, it's not really that big of a deal. Most of the time, if you stay hidden and make sure that some super mutants don't see you, most of the time you can get away with staying hidden and they will lose you and you won't have to go ahead and kill the rest of them. But as you guys can see, there's another flamethrower trap that is right in here, and you can go ahead and disarm this for fuel, 
raw scrap and aluminum which is always great the aluminum is really helpful um same for the raw rubber pretty much all these are helpful but i'm not really the big use in flamethrowers so i don't use a lot of fuel it's a good glitch it's one of the more known locations so you may have to fast travel here a few times and load into some new servers a few times if you want to get this one to work because there is like i said a lot of people trying to do it at once it is one of my favorite locations just because you're protected on all sides but that's pretty much it let's get right on into the next glitch same location, different glitch, you're going to go to the Eastern Regional Penitentiary and go along the same wall that I was talking about. Now instead of going left, you're going to want to go right. For this glitch, you probably should go ahead and just take out all the super mutants in here just because you are really open when you do this. So you can't really hide from them. At one point, they're probably going to come and try to mess with you, which is just something that you don't want whenever you're doing this glitch. You're going to want to head over to the orange little trailers that are in the back here. And the trailer that's in the very corner, there is going to be a grenade bouquet that you can be set off and disarmed. And when you disarm it, it is going to be giving you 100 XP per press, and there is going to be a fragmentation grenade added every time you do that. So it's a great source of XP, not to mention if you want to go ahead and sell these fragmentation grenades back to vendors, that's a really, really good way to make some caps as well. This one can be a little bit tricky. Sometimes the grenade bouquet will not go ahead and glitch out, and when you can only disarm it one time. When this happens, go ahead and join a new server and come back, and it should be working. That goes for pretty much every glitch in this game. If it doesn't work the first time, just relog and it should work the second time. All right, everybody. So this is pretty much the final XP glitch I have to show you. It's located at the Morgantown High School, just east of Vault 76, once again, like the most glitches here. But what you want to do is right when you spawn here, there is going to be a whole bunch of buildings and possibly some scorch in front of you. If you have to, go ahead and take them out. Most of the time, you can go ahead and ignore them. But just go alongside this building and what you're going to do is at the very end of this, there is going to be a green door that's going to let you into the high school. And that's what you're going to want to go ahead and go into. It's just past these blue vending machines, keep going, and it's at the very end right here. Once you have made your way inside of the high school, you're going to spawn in. There's going to be a whole bunch of scorched in here and you are going to actually want to go ahead and take all of these out because there's really no way to get around them if you're doing this glitch because at one point, they're probably going to end up messing with you, so it's just better off just to go ahead and take them out. But there's not that many, it's, they're really not that hard. After you have taken them out, there is going to be a blue door here alongside the wall that you can go ahead and pickpocket. It only requires skill 1, so it's really not that big of a deal. Just make sure you go ahead and have some bobby pins on you when you do this. But once you open the door, be careful because at the very front here, there is going to be a pressure plate right there. And you don't want to step on that because that is going to set off the grenades. What you actually want to do is just go up to one of the bouquets and trigger it. And when you do that, it's going to go ahead and just destroy all the other bouquets. If you try to go up to them now, the glitch will not work. So you have to go back outside of this high school, go back to Appalachia and come back inside. Now that you have done that, everything in the glitch should be in place and working correctly. So what you want to do is just go right back over to the blue door that we were talking about earlier. And when you go inside of it, there is going to be two strings hanging down that can be used to disarm grenades. And when you disarm them, there's no grenade there, so you're going to be able to disarm it as many times as you want to. So this is going to be giving you, like I said, around 100 XP per time. Now, it depends on what level you are and how many what your stats are. There's different foods that will increase your percentage if you have a teammate um, or Several teammates is going to increase your XP amount, and just like foods like canned stew can also increase your amount. But that is it for all the XP glitches I have to show you guys. Let's move on to some new glitches. Okay, guys, so to get unlimited carry weight, it's really, really simple. What you are going to have to have is just a piece of pocketed armor, and that's literally the only thing that you're going to need for this glitch. Other than that, you're good to go. But to get pocketed armor, a lot of you may not have it. Um, a way you can get this is either going and scrapping a whole bunch of armor to actually unlock the pocketed mod, so you can go ahead and just craft it onto a single piece of armor, or what some people do, what I did firstly, was actually just go to a place where there's lots of enemies, um, to actually carry armor and go ahead and just kill them until they drop a pocketed armor because oftentimes they're carrying pocket armor I only had to search for a few minutes before I found one. It's really not that hard to find It's not too rare of an armor mod, but anyways after you have found a pocketed armor Literally what you got to do is just go into your pit boy scroll over to the apparel tab and go ahead and equip and unequip the pocketed armor as many times as you need to as you can see there is a little timer at the very bottom or not a timer more like a ticker that shows how much weight you have and every time you equip it and unequip it is going to be going down if you do it fast enough now if you do this enough it is going to be going all the way down into the negatives and that's honestly exactly what we want because once it goes down into the negatives it sort of glitches out everything and it kind of gets rid of the whole idea of carry weight so what it does is you can carry as much 
weight on you as you want, even though you are in the negative. It doesn't really make sense, but I originally thought that you had to go into like the negative hundreds, but literally all you have to do is go into negative five at minimum. That's all you have to do. As long as it's in a negative, it glitches out and you can carry unlimited items on you regarding carry weight. Now, when you leave the game, it is going to kind of undo this glitch, so all you have to do is just carry a piece of pocketed armor on you, and you will be able to go ahead and just do the glitch again and be able to carry it around you all the time. Also, I think I should mention that if you carry too much stuff on you, like if you go into the thousands on carry weight, it can lag your pit boy a little bit. So just keep in mind, don't go crazy with this glitch, but you know, kind of take advantage of it just because the stash issue is so bad. But let's go ahead and get right into the next glitch. <laughs> To place any of the other grills now you can see it's going to be locked but there is going to be a green outline around it so go ahead and just place it wherever you want to and you should be able to place it now if you want to place it another item that's similar to that you are going to have to just repeat the glitch it's not really that hard um don't do what i did there i just scrapped it on accident if you scrap it it doesn't work as you can see it's still gray but if you go ahead and store it, like I said, literally just store it again, and you can just do this as many times as you want to to place any items that you want. This is super helpful if you're base building, especially if you're trying to make a more decorative piece and you don't have the actual planes that have that. Right here, I did it with a bed, and it works with pretty much every item in the game so far that I have used. So hopefully you find this glitch useful, but let's go ahead and get right into the next one. All right, everybody, so this first bottle cap exploit, you're going to want to come to the Morgantown train yard. Now, once you have done this, I recommend you have cap collector, and once you have cap collector, upgrade it as much as you can because it is going to make this way faster. Now, the first cap stash is going to be located right by that bucket. That's the only one I couldn't get to spawn. All the other ones are exactly here, and I'll show you exactly where they are, but it's just going to be right next to that bucket. You can't really miss it. Head back over behind this shed, and by this dumpster, there is going to be another cap stash. Go ahead and pick that up, and if you have cap collector, it is going to greatly increase the amount of caps you get there. So now that you have gotten that one, literally go past this train, jump over, and go down into this little train yard where there's some railroad tracks, and there's going to be three more cap stashes inside of here. On this table is the first one. Go ahead and pick that one up as well. We actually got did pretty good on these one here. That one we got 42 caps, and then on this one right here, I believe we got a lot too. We got 25, which is pretty good. So, so far, we're already up like almost 100 so far on the caps run so far. I've seen it go to as high as like 300 caps per run before, which, but your final stash is going to be at the very back here on this table, just like the other ones, and this one we got actually a lot too, I think. We got, yeah, 47, which is really good. Now, to repeat this, literally just close out of your server and then load back into a new game and you can go ahead and repeat this process till you have a desired amount of bottle caps and it's a good way to get at least 500 caps per 10 minutes. But let's go ahead and get right into the final bottle cap exploit. All right, everyone, so to do this final bottle cap exploit, what you're gonna have to come to is the White Springs Resort and here it is from Vault 76 for anybody who needs it. Um, and just go to your right from spawn. This is where you fast travel to and where you'll be at. In this bus here at the very back, there is going to be your first cap stash. Now, go ahead and take that, and there is going to be another one outside of there. On that one, we got 87, which was pretty good. I've seen it go all the way up to like 150 before. I've gotten a ton on these cap stashes, guys. Uh, go up the stairs here to this like another structure of a building up here and behind this little bench There is going to be another cap stash It's gonna be kind of in the corner between a bench and the wall It can be hidden, but all you gotta do is just look for it. it's not that hard to find once you have gotten that one The next one is gonna be located in a separate building So just come down these stairs here and make your way over towards like the main resort area And there's gonna be an entrance that you can just go ahead and go through Once you've made it in here Go to your right, and there is going to be a stairwell that's going to be going down to the lower lobby, and that's exactly where you want to go. Take a right and go down this little alleyway. There's going to be a whole bunch of shops you can go into, and on the right is going to be the first shop. You want to talk to Tweed, and directly to his left in his desk, there is going to be another cap stash kind of hidden in there as well. Once you've gotten that one, there is going to be another one in this little shop area, so just take another right, continue going down this hallway. It's going to be at the very end, and you're going to want to take a left at Studio 58. And once you've gone in there, there's going to be another Protectron in there that you're going to go ahead and see, and there, to his right, there is going to be another bottle cap stash. And that's the final one. Once you have gotten that one, same procedure, just go ahead and load into a new server, and they should all be respawned. 
So that is pretty much all I have to show you today, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy the video. Stay tuned for tomorrow, and I will be uploading a few of the best legendary farming locations that I've seen so far. So hopefully you guys did go on to enjoy that when you're getting you some good weapons, some good armor, all that type of stuff. Also, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did enjoy it or just find it helpful, make sure you like and subscribe, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.